All right, welcome back. Uh, welcome to anybody new here. Um, just a forethought for you guys that are new here. It's gonna be another rough morning. I don't sleep. Anybody that's not new here, you guys know what's up. It's 3.30 in the morning. I went to bed at, I don't know, midnight, something like that. So I'm only doing this because of one thing and hopefully if you're seeing this, that one thing came true and we had a crazy day. So if you're seeing this, we got on some fish. All right, change of plans. Uh, I was gonna go fish some big water and now I'm on a river. Uh, obviously, my intro was trying to get you guys ready for some big excitement that I was planning on having. Uh, I can still have some good excitement here, but I don't think it's gonna be as crazy hectic. But if you're seeing this, I still got fish. I need some sleep. fish on. Pretty sure that's a smallie. Yep. <laughs> Let's see if I can land this guy actually. I caught one. I actually caught a fish. <laughs> the rest of that just fell right out there. Look at that river smally. Fight like a horse. You gotta love it. First river smally of the day. Let's get some more of these guys. Okay. Little drop. Bye. Thanks for playing. Alright, I just wanted to show you guys what I got that on. Uh, it's this little uh, inline spinner. I don't know exactly, what is it, a number? It's a 3.5. It's one of my trout spinners. It's one of my favorite river spinners. It works real good. So if you guys are ever fishing murky water and it's crappy, like this is bad water, <laughs> throw a small spinner and uh, you'll be surprised what you catch. So let's try and get some more of those. Fish, I got another smallie. Oh no, that's a rock bass. The Yang, we're in your alley again. <laughs> Fat little guy, huh? Alright, well, back you go.
Fish. Oh, it got off. Pretty sure that was a smallie. And he got off because he broke my hook. Oh no! <laughs> Got another one. That's another small one. <laughs> Come on, hold still, dude. That dude crushed it. And he was barely hooked. I'm trying to be a little nicer to this guy. Instead of tossing him way back. Thanks, dude. Alright, so I got one rock bass and two smallmouth and broke a hook. <laughs> Apparently those uh, spinners need to be replaced or I need to put new spinners. Uh, new hooks on them actually uh, the upper part stainless steel but for whatever reason the bottom half rusted out so I have a couple more to try and I've been meaning to do it so uh, I guess today's a smallmouth day that's uh that's the plan and I'm gonna try and stick a couple more uh, hopefully I don't break any hooks off on any monsters so <laughs> stay tuned Fish. <laughs> Fish on the jerk bait. Oh, he got off. <sighs> oh, man. What's a fish? A little rock bass. <laughs> oh. Quick release. All right, this thing's getting pretty beat up. Let's see if we can get another one. Uh, that guy actually came right at my feet. Looks like there's a little hole here, so there should be more than one, but we'll see.
rock bass with a chunk out of them. And I glass the the heron or the man. That's a bad chunk. It's fresh too. Uh, I forgot what they're called. Blue heron, I think it is, or crane. Probably got a chunk of this guy. He's a survivor. All right, guys. So back at the truck. I got a couple of little rock bass and one smallie, I believe, there. Uh, I think I lost a big smallie, too, actually, either on my jerkbait or my spinner. Both of them I messed up with, but either way, it's not going to be busy yet, so it's still got to cool down. But hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I didn't sleep much, so I'm going to go get some sleep. And, uh, yeah, if you're not new here, you know what's up. But if you are new, please just remember, too.